Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the section 2 equations. There was a homework. Let us check the answer of that homework at first. Raju bought 7 notebooks of 200 pages and 5 of 100 pages for 107 rupees. Joseph bought 5 notebooks of 200 pages and 7 of 100 pages for 97 rupees. What is the price of each kind of notebook? Here we have to find the price of 200 page notebook and 100 page notebook. Let the price of 200 page notebook be x rupees and the price of 100 page notebook be y rupees. Raju bought 7 notebooks of 200 pages. The price of one 200 page notebook is x rupees. Therefore, the price of 7 200 page notebook is 7x rupees. Similarly, he bought 5 100 page notebooks. The price of 100 page notebook is y rupees. Therefore, the price of 5 100 page notebooks is 5 y rupees. He paid 107 rupees for 7 200 page notebooks and 5 100 page notebooks. That is 7x plus 5y equal to 107. We can consider this as the first equation. Joseph bought 5 notebooks of 200 pages and 7 of 100 pages for 97 rupees. For 5 notebooks of 200 pages, he has to pay 5x rupees. And for 7 notebooks of 100 pages, he has to pay 7y rupees. And he paid a total of 97 rupees. That means, 5x plus 7y equal to 97. Let us consider this as the second equation. Now let us multiply the first equation by 5, the coefficient of x in the second equation. 7x into 5 is 35x, 5y into 5 is 25y, 107 into 5 is 535. Therefore, we get 35x plus 25y equal to 535. Let us take it as the third equation. Now let us multiply the second equation by 7, the coefficient of x in the first equation. 5x into 7 is 35x, 7y into 7 is 49y, 97 into 7 is 679. So we get, so we get 35x plus 49y equal to 679. Let us take it as the fourth equation. Now in the third and fourth equations, the first term is same. So, we can subtract one equation from the other. Let me subtract third equation from the fourth equation. 35x minus 35x is 0. 49y minus 25y is 24y. 679 minus 535 is 144. So, we get 24y equal to 144. Therefore, y equal to 144 by 24. And that is equal to 6. y equal to 6. We can put this value in any of these four equations. We will get an equation in x only. And I am going to put y equal to 6 in the first equation. Then we get 7x plus 5 into 6 equal to 107. 5 into 6 is 30. So we can write 7x plus 30 equal to 107. Now let us take 30 on the other side. 7x equal to 107 minus 30 or that is equal to 77. Therefore, x equal to 77 by 7 and that is equal to 11. x equal to 11, that means the price of 200 page notebook is 11 rupees. y equal to 6, therefore the price of 100 page notebook is 6 rupees. Now let us do the remaining problems on page 40 and 41. 4 times a number and 3 times another number added together make 43. 2 times the second number subtracted from 3 times the first gives 11. What are the numbers? There are two numbers. Let us take them as x and y. 
4 times a number and 3 times another added together makes 43. That means 4 times the first number plus 3 times the second number equal to 43. 4 times the first number is 4x, 3 times the second number is 3y, therefore 4x plus 3y equal to 43. Let us consider it as the first equation. Now 2 times the second number subtracted from 3 times the first gives 11. That means 3 times the first number minus 2 times the second number is 11. That is 3x minus 2y equal to 11. Let us consider it as the second equation. We know how to solve these equations. If the coefficients of x in both the equations are same we can subtract or we can look at the coefficients of y if they are same we can subtract or we have to make the coefficients equal in all the previous problems we have made the coefficients of x same in this equation let us try to make the coefficients of y same for that let me multiply the first equation by 2 and second equation by 3. So at first let me multiply first equation by 2. 4x into 2 is 8x, 3y into 2 is 6y, 43 into 2 is 86. Let us consider it as the third equation. Now let us multiply the second equation by 3. 3x into 3 is 9x, minus 2y into 3 is minus 6y, 11 into 3 is 33. Let us consider it as the fourth equation. Now look at the terms containing y, plus 6y and minus 6y. When we add it together, this becomes 0. So let us add third equation and fourth equation together. 8x plus 9x is 17x, plus 6y plus minus 6y is 0, 86 plus 33 is 190. So we can add the two equations to get a new equation with only one letter. Now 17x is 119 therefore x equal to 119 by 17 and that is equal to 7. So we got the value of x as 7. We can put this value in any of these four equations. Let me put it in the first equation. Then 4 into 7 plus 3y equal to 43. 4 into 7 is 28, so we can write it as 28 plus 3y equal to 43. Taking 28 on the other side, we can write 3y equal to 43 minus 28 or that is equal to 15. Therefore, y equal to 15 by 3 or 5. So, one number is 5 and the other number is 7. So, we can say the numbers are 7 and 5. Next problem. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 11. The number got by interchanging the digits is 27 more than the original number. What is the number? Suppose the unit digit is 2 and tens digit is 3. What is the number? 32, right? There are 3 tens and 2 units. Therefore, actually this is 3 into 10 plus 2. Now, when the unit digit is 5 and tens digit is 7, what is the number? 75, right? There are 7 tens and 5 units. So, this is 7 into 10 plus 5. Now, unit digit is 8, tens digit is 4. What is the number? 48, right? There are 4 tens and 8 units. So, this is 4 into 10 plus 8. So, in all these cases, we have multiplied each digits by its place value and added together to get the number. Then, if the unit digit is x, tens digit is y, what is the number? Some of you may think it is yx. Is it correct? yx means y into x. That is tens digit into unit digit. Have we got the numbers by multiplying the digits here? No. We have multiplied the tens digit by 10. Then the unit digit is added. Here the tens digit is y and unit digit is x. So 
the number is y into 10 plus x y into 10 is 10 y so we can write it as 10 y plus x that means when the unit digit is x and tens digit is y the number is 10 y plus x now let us go to the problem let the unit digit be x and tens digit be y then we know the number is 10 y plus x when the digits are interchanged what is the number that is the number when unit digit is y and tens digit is x we know the number is 10 x plus y now given that this number is 27 more than this number this is more therefore from this number if we subtract the first number we get 27 that is 10 x plus y minus 10 y plus x equal to 27 there are two terms in this number so we have to put a bracket here now at first let us remove the bracket minus into 10 y is minus 10 y minus into plus x is minus x so this can be written as 10 x plus y minus 10 y minus x equal to 27 10 x minus x is 9 x y minus 10 y is minus 9 y so this can be written as 9 x minus 9 y equal to 27 9 x means 9 into x minus 9 y means minus 1 into 9 into y you can see 9 in both the terms so we can take 9 outside so we can write 9 into x minus y equal to 27 now to find the value of x minus y we can take 9 on the other side we get x minus y equal to 27 by 9 or x minus y equal to 3 let us consider it as the first equation now given that sum of the digits of the number is 11 the digits are x and y therefore x plus y equal to 11 let us take it as the second equation now look at the first terms x is the first term in both the equations so if we subtract one equation from the other we get an equation without x now look at the second terms minus y and plus y therefore if we add the equations we get an equation without y so let us first add the two equations x plus x is 2x minus y plus y is 0 3 plus 11 is 14 therefore we get 2x equal to 14 we can do it in another way also when we add sum of two numbers and the difference of the same two numbers we get two times the larger number so 2x equal to 14 therefore x equal to 14 by 2 or 7 now we can put x equal to 7 in any one of these equations and we can find the value of y you can also find the value of y by subtracting one equation from the other let us subtract first equation from the second equation x minus x is 0 y minus minus y is 2y 11 minus 3 is 8 we can do it in another way also when difference of two numbers is subtracted from the sum of the same two numbers we get two times the smaller number anyway 2y equal to 8 therefore y equal to 8 by 2 or y equal to 4 x equal to 7 y equal to 4 means the unit digit is 7 tens digit is 4 therefore the number is 47 when the digits are interchanged the number is 74 and you can see 74 is 27 more than 47 next problem four years ago Rahim's age was three times Ramu's age after two years it would just be double what are their ages now let Ramu's age be x and Rahim's age be y four years ago what is Ramu's age four years ago his age is four less than today's age today his age is x therefore four years ago Ramu's age is x minus four similarly today Rahim's age is y therefore four years ago Rahim's age is y minus four Given that 4 years ago Rahim's age was 3 times Ramu's age, that means 
3 into Ramos age equal to Rahim's age or 3 into x minus 4 equal to y minus 4. 3 into x is 3x, 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. So we can write this equation as 3x minus 12 equal to y minus 4. Let us take y on this side and minus 12 on the other side. Then we get 3x minus y equal to minus 4 plus 12. Minus 4 plus 12 is 8. So we can write it as 3x minus y equal to 8. Let us consider this as the first equation. Today Ramos age is x. What is his age after 2 years? After 2 years everybody will increase their age by 2. So Ramos age after 2 years is x plus 2. Similarly today Rahim's age is y. What is his age after 2 years? It will be y plus 2. Given that after 2 years Rahim's age is double that of Ramos age or 2 into Ramos age equal to Rahim's age or 2 into x plus 2 equal to y plus 2. 2 into x is 2x, 2 into 2 is 4. So this can be written as 2x plus 4 equal to y plus 2. Let us take y on this side and 4 on the other side. So we get 2x minus y equal to 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So we can write it as 2x minus y equal to minus 2. Let us consider this as the second equation. Our first equation was 3x minus y equal to 8. Look at the two equations. You can see minus y and minus y. Therefore, if we subtract one equation from the other, we will get an equation without y. Let me subtract second equation from the first equation. Then 3x minus 2x is x. Minus y minus y is 0. If we subtract minus y from minus y, we get 0. 8 minus minus 2 is 8 plus 2 and that is equal to 10. So we got x equal to 10. When we put x equal to 10 in any of these two equations, we get the value of y. Let me substitute x equal to 10 in the first equation. Then 3 into 10 minus y equal to 8. 3 into 10 is 30. So we can write this as 30 minus y equal to 8. Let us take minus y on this side and 8 on the other side. So we can write 30 minus 8 equal to y or y equal to 22. x equal to 10 means Ramu's age is 10. y equal to 12 means Rahim's age is 22. Today we have learned how to solve two equations with two letters. We can add the two equations or we can subtract one equation from the other to get an equation with only one letter. Now there is a homework. If the length of a rectangle is increased by 5 meters and the breadth decreased by 3 meters, the area would decrease by 5 square meters. If the length is increased by 3 meters and breadth increased by 2 meters, the area would increase by 50 square meters. What are the length and breadth? The next video we shall discuss the remaining part. Till then, bye.